What's up, everybody? Looking for eggs. There's a hole right there. I think she's digging and she uh, went in there. I was expecting her to lay a couple days ago. Let's go ahead and get her. There's her head right there. So I think she's laying, so we'll probably have some eggs in the morning. And I think this other girl over here is laying also. So we'll check back uh, maybe uh, tonight, tomorrow. But I was expecting eggs any day from both of these. Um, so we'll see. Stay tuned. Okay, so it's the next morning. You can see this female is laid. Uh, you can see the nice fold on her side there. She's on her other side as well. So her uh, body weight definitely has uh, decreased quite a bit. And she's filled that hole up. So she's probably just sitting here relaxing right now. So let's uh, get into it. Let's pull this uh, enclosure and uh, we can start digging together and see what we got. I don't believe, um, this is the other female. I don't believe she laid, but uh, we can take a look inside her area where she was uh, sleeping last night and see what's up. So first thing, I'm gonna remove her. See how they watch? They know everything. She might bite me. Hi. I'm gonna take your eggs. So uh, let me pull this out on the table and uh, we'll start digging. Okay, so I got her nest box out. <clears throat> so we're gonna dig right there, see what's up. These uh, Lacerda's Lay two clutches a year for me. I don't know if you can consider it uh, multi-clutching or not. Um, I do put them back in with the male. Let me check something. Let me check underneath to see where. Okay. I don't see the eggs on the bottom, so I don't know exactly where they're at. Sometimes I can see them. Through. Okay, so here, they're over here. So where she was sleeping, here, she didn't put any eggs. So that first egg looks really good, okay. So here's one here. Let's get a container ready before we get going on this. Give me a second there. I'll show you guys uh, progress on the eggs from the last time we pulled some out. Okay. 
some superworms in here. I've started feeding uh, superworms since last time. I don't know if you guys remember or watched any of my previous videos, um, I was, we were collecting some eggs before and um, got a batch of infertile eggs. Don't know if it's related to a specific female um, or if it was because of the new location. Um, they are in a garage now versus inside a house. Superworms. And, and actually, uh, so one of the things I did is I did start feeding a little differently, um, put some more worms in their diet, uh, changed the UVB. Um, <clears throat> so one of the new things is the superworms, and I found that if I don't put them in a deli cup or something, that um, they just like to dig in the soil. Um, I continued with it. I figured it's pretty natural for them to to uh, dig and find worms or grubs, whatever you want to call them. Okay, these eggs are looking good. Except for this one. Sometimes these are clumped together. This batch doesn't look like it. of an egg attached to that that's not going to be any good. Unless something got to it already or something like that. Maybe the superworms got it. It's kind of weak. Oh, yeah, there's a worm right there. Maybe it was eating some eggs. Much out of that, if that's it. Maybe she's gonna lay more in a couple days. I have seen them where they actually put them in two spots. And so far, I'm only counting four good eggs, which is not good. I've seen clutches, I think up to like 15, 16 max, but usually I can get a good eight to 10. And she was pretty plump. Maybe she's got a second uh, lace site in here. I'm just kind of keep digging through here. Maybe she wasn't done, but. sorted through on this side of the enclosure so I use these during breeding season and I literally I found it's just best just to put the female in a in a different enclosure um, that's what works for me uh, they will lay in a naturalistic enclosure you can create a lay box for them but I usually don't like to take the risk. 
so I uh, provided a complete nest box, if you will, for them. Yeah, that's it. There's nothing else in there. She was pretty light when I picked her up earlier. So, I'm not going to have as many Lacerda eggs as I expected this year. So, again, this is their lay enclosure. It's just a 10-gallon tank. It's got a sliding lid on it. Um, this is in here now because this is where I've been putting the super worms. Um, this is where I always fill up with water. I mean, they move so much stuff around that it gets uh, kind of destroyed. But uh, here's the eggs. I mean, I would say this is a good, this is a good one, this is a good one, very questionable. That one's definitely good. And this one is semi-questionable. Not a lot of eggs. I mean, my little one that I wasn't even planning on breeding had more eggs than this. So. Got another one that's gonna lay tomorrow. So we'll see what that's all about and where she's at. Um, I don't keep track of my animals as far as like, oh, this one laid this many eggs this year type situation. Uh, so maybe I have one female. Uh, I'm kind of maybe thinking that, that just always has laid weak for me. So this might have been the girl. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a mark on her. Um, so we can uh, try to keep track of that. Just give me a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so here's a update on the uh, previous clutch of eggs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a normal, not even a normal clutch, that, that's a small baby, I would call a juvenile female that laid. Um, and I got eight, and that was, I wasn't even trying to breeder I didn't even put her in her lay box and if you remember if you watch one of the previous videos uh, I think the male got caught eating two of them when I walked away for a second after I dug them up so she did really good um, so let me seal these back up so those were um, 100% het melanistics. They came out of a visual female that was bred a couple a year or two ago uh, to uh, Steve the melanistic. Um, so she, her dad was 100% melanistic. Her mom was uh, normal, wild type, and uh, these were laid on 426. So I'm gonna put these back. We'll seal these up, and we'll check on these in a couple of days. We're gonna dig through this tank here, this lay box, if you call it that, and see what's in there. I removed the female that I showed you guys earlier. Um, put her in the actual other lay box. Um, kinda only have one or two of these things set up that way. Um, took all the worms out of that last enclosure, so maybe that was something going on. Maybe a don't know, I mean, that sounds kind of ridiculous, but. Yeah, there's no eggs in here. I'll inspect that female, the one that uh, just gave us those eggs. But she definitely was, um, Pretty skinny. I don't think she's, I mean, I'm pretty sure she's done. I don't think she's still got more eggs in her. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's nothing in here. All right, so let's end this video. I uh, appreciate you guys. Subscribe for future updates. Uh, go back and check out some of the other videos uh, with some of the Lacertas. I have a general care video on them. 
um, going over some stuff. Any questions, uh, find me on Instagram at lizard underscore kings. Uh, I answer most of my messages there uh, within you know a day or so. Um, it's not my primary Instagram I'm on, but uh, you can expect an answer shortly. I do get a lot of people asking me since I started making videos for Lacerda babies. Uh, most of the babies hatch out in uh, August, but I think it's going to be late this year. Um, Again, that's due to some of the changes over here. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, definitely no eggs in here. Just a bunch of worms. So I'm not too keen on this whole feeding super worms. Um, not in a cup situation. I mean, they're kind of everywhere in here. Eventually, I mean, sure the lizards will uh, dig and find them and stuff, and kind of cool. They can find a snack whenever they want. Anyways, that's it. I'm out. Thanks. So here's the girl that just uh, laid. I uh, just disturbed her though, but she's in there drinking water. Gave her some super worms. So she's in uh, recovery mode. Uh, I felt, picked her up. I felt her. She's pretty empty. Pretty flat bellied. Um, so she definitely laid as much as possible. I don't know. She was pretty big to me yesterday uh, when I normally see him. So. Well, whatever, uh, this is what it is, man. It's what, uh, working with reptiles. You get some wins and you get some losses. So we'll take the L. And yeah, we won't take the L on it. We got a couple babies, so. All right, peace. So I'm sitting here thinking, was it the superworms? Did I F up? Did the superworms eat some of the eggs? That's a pretty weak clutch. Put your comments below. Let me know what you think. I'm curious to know.